Hi everyone, I'm back down at the beach today. I've got my hand in a cast because of an unfortunate rugby accident. It's my right hand as well, so I'm going to have to film everything left handed. The footage might be a little bit shakier than usual. <laughs> oh, this is looking good. Look at all these new concretions that have been exposed. Oh, there must be something good in here. see what you can find here. Not even a minute in and I think I found something. I think there's are some legs sticking out on that side. I think there's a crab in here. Yeah I think there's something inside there. Awesome. <laughs> on the board. There's just so much stuff to look through here. There is so much to look at today. Have a look at this one. See, there's a bit of bone sticking out there. Uh oh, here comes the waves. <laughs> just on the left of this concretion, there's a bit of bone sticking out there. Right there in the center of the screen. Let me see if I can dig it out. Maybe there's something else showing. There's a little bit more bone showing. Doesn't look super interesting though. I'll leave this one. That's an awesome piece of bone. <laughs> Look at that. Such an orangey color as well. That's a really nice chunk of bone. I'm gonna guess it's cetacean, just by the size. Some more fossil bone. Have a look at this side. That honeycombing is beautiful. Might be worth sending it away to be cut and polished. I think it will take a polish really well. It wouldn't be a fossil hunt without a crab. And have a look at this claw over here. Wow. That claw is enormous. It's a really good looking crab actually. Yeah, that's well worth taking home. I was just taking that fossil crab back to my bag and stumbled across this. I think it's something good. Have a look at these bones sticking out. That is something good. I wonder if there's a vertebra. That looks like a vertebra with the process coming off it. Another one, another one one over there. The size of it makes me think cetacean, maybe whale or dolphin. I think it's too big for a seal. It's way too big for a penguin. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's some bones at the bottom here as well. Oh, I didn't want to carry anything big out because my hands are a bit busted. I think I'm gonna to have to carry this one. <laughs> <laughs> there's the crab I was just putting back. Oh, that's a good find. I'm happy with this. Oh, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> the only thing is I have to carry it back now. <laughs> it's always bittersweet. Okay, let's 
Let me get it packed away. It's time to start heading back. The tide's coming in. Hasn't been too bad with my busted hand. I'm so happy that I can still fossil hunt with it. I'll do the wrap of it at home. And here are the finds from today's hunt. This large one was a little bit difficult to get back to the car one-handed, but it got there in the end. Let's take a closer look at them. Here's that first piece of large bone, which I assume is cetacean, just based on the size. It's probably a whale or a very large dolphin. I'm going to guess it's a vertebra. Can't really tell, it's been worn away on this side. What's really nice is it's got the exterior of the bone surface there. And then it's worn away to show the honeycombing on the inside there. Here's the second bit of bone I found. It's got the shape of a vertebra. Yeah, it's got the right shape and it's probably a large dolphin. I don't think it's big enough for a whale. It could be. It's got beautiful honeycombing on this side. I think we should take a look under the microscope at these two bits of bone. Here's a big crab I found today. You can see it's a little bit worn away on the claws over there and there, but otherwise it should be in pretty good condition. This is probably a male crab. In male crabs, the right hand claw is a lot bigger than the left hand claw. And you can see this one is about mm, one and a half times as big as that one. So I suspect it's a male crab. You can see there the leg hole sticking out there. There's one, two, three. Nothing anywhere else. The white layer you see sticking out on the crab claw over here is calcite, which makes prepping really difficult. It's also one of the harder concretions you find there. So it might be a little bit difficult to prep, but the crab will probably be in really good condition because of that. Here's that amazing bone cluster I managed to get back. I think these are vertebrae, and I think they're all articulated, so they're all joining up with each other. Though this looks like the phalanges of a seal. I'm not sure it is, but it could potentially be. I'm going to have to prep this one a little bit more. As soon as my hands bit, I'm going to try and expose a little bit more of this area and over there between these bones, see what we can see. The preservation on these bones is amazing. I think it's going to come out really well. So we've got a few bones over here as well. Yeah, it might be, might be an interesting bone cluster. We might be able to eventually tell what kind of animal it is. If you look on the side here, yeah, there's one over here, but they don't seem to go past this area. So I think we're seeing most of them in this view. I can see about eight bones sticking out, so that's a that's a really good bone cluster. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was good fun being out there, and hopefully, soon my hands fixed so I can start doing some more prep work. I'll see you all in the next hunt. Keep well.